Hey, it's Jim, landsforyou.com. Hope you're doing real well. Wanted to shoot you this quick video about how to check land for road access. And in this case, I'm gonna be looking at a couple of parcels in Apache County, Arizona. And the two things that you're gonna to need to know <clears throat> is you're gonna to need to know the county where the land is, and then you're gonna to need to know the APN number or the parcel number. So we got the parcel numbers right here. And we know that these uh, parcel numbers, APNs, are both in Apache County. So the way that we check for access is we're going to actually look at the county GIS website. So if we type in Apache County, now this one auto-populated. Let me show you how it would look uh, right here. So if you go to Google, Apache County, and you just want to type GIS, and let's see what comes up. <clears throat> GIS mapping. So we're going to click on that. It's the official county website. And then that's where we want to be, Apache County. And then let's go down here. It'll say GIS Department and Interactive Maps. So let's click GIS Department and search the Apache County GIS. Let's click on that one. Oh, took us back. So let's go to Interactive Map. Let's try that one. <clears throat> county Map and Parcel Viewer. So let's actually open up both the County Map and then the Parcel Viewer. So we can, whoops, let me move my big old head that way. I think these would both work. Um, let's just load one zone. And let's take that first APN number. <clears throat> now it says find address, parcel, or owner. So let's put in the APN number. Now sometimes you'll actually need to put in the dash. So it, it's kind of like a social security number where it's three, two, um, I guess it's three, two, four for social security, number, but it's uh, three, then two, and then there's uh, another dash right there. So let's click on this one. So this one's mine. Now what you'll see is seven three nine six and n seven three nine three. These means uh, that means that there's roads there. So this one has road access. <clears throat> and. One of the things I just want to draw your attention to is if you were to buy this one, actually I own both this A and B. If you were to buy a B, B would not have road access and B would not have access um, at all. Uh, now what you could do is you could probably just, if it's you know all grass, you could just drive right up. That wouldn't be a problem. But if <clears throat> this person wanted to put a fence up around the perimeter and this person had their own fence, uh, this parcel would be called landlocked. Like these ones right here, these are all landlocked. So you want to be very careful when you buy landlocked property because if everybody else is developed around you and they all have fences, you might have a very tough time driving through someone else's property to get to yours. Now, <clears throat> if it's something like this, like this one has road access. It really kind of depends where it is. So if it's landlocked like this one or this one, you want to see the surroundings. You know, is it fully built up? Are you going to have to um, you know, drive through a bunch of people's property? Or is it completely abandoned where there's no development? It's just rural vacant land. Because then in that case, you can just drive right through someone else's and just, you know, camp out on yours, uh, spend the weekend on yours. It's not going to be a big deal. So let's take a closer look. So, so the way that we can do that, we can find the, the um, GPS coordinates. Now they're located right down here. So we're gonna put our mouse right here and it's <clears throat> 35.139. So we're just gonna 35.139. And then we go back here and it'll say one oh, negative 109.395. So negative 109.395. <clears throat> Oops. Let me see if it's the other way around. They might have it backwards. So let's try this. Let me check this out on the map. <clears throat> Bear with me one sec, 35.139, yeah. And then negative 109.395. There we go, perfect. And now we see Apache County Road 7396 which is right there, 7396, so perfect. So this one has road access. Now, the one below it, that one does not have road access. So if we zoom out, 
<clears throat> we can see that's where our land is. So if if you're buying something down here, you know, you can see there's no road access here. Now, the good thing is this land hasn't been fully developed. There's not a lot of houses, but just based on what you, you can see here, there's lots of these ridges and washes and shrubbery, so it might be tough to access. So when you're looking at buying land, you want to not only look at is there legal access <clears throat> via a road, you also want to look at are there other people in the area who have already built is it going to be difficult to, to access? Um, you also want to see, are there natural impediments? So for example, when I bought this, I always check to make sure there's road access. So this one does have road access right off of the road. And then uh, the one behind it, um, it's not that hard to access because it's right here. And, and you can see there's a, there's a tiny little trail that leads over here. <clears throat> Additionally, a lot of times I'll send photographers out to a spot to make sure, especially if it's a larger property. So that's how you want to check. You want to check it at the county GIS. Now let's check one more. So we're going to drop another one right in here. We're going to go like that. And we're going to see what pops up. Perfect. Again, this one has got road access right here. It's on the corner of two roads. And then if I just put my mouse right here, 34362. So let's go 34362. <clears throat> and... 109, 604, negative 109, 604. So let's see where that takes us. Perfect. We see those two roads. So we know that this has easy drive up road access. We can also see that <clears throat> looks like this is undeveloped. It's going to remain undeveloped. This probably borders some. Um, yeah, now this is just owned by the county. So this is empty space. So if you wanted to, <clears throat> in this spot, you could, you could camp out here, and then this space is free to enjoy. It's um, land for you know, anyone to use. It's BLM land, Bureau of Land Management land. So you could have, um, you know, you could do what you wanted to on that land, as long as you're not, you know, building or living on it. So let me just pull up the, now you can see this part of, this part of the, um, the county, there's not really any development out here. So even if you bought something that was landlocked, I don't think there are any landlocked parcels because it's already been, there's already sort of these trails that are established, these, um, these small little roads right here. But even if you hadn't, just based on how undeveloped it is, there's no one, there's no one out here, there's no one really in the general area, you wouldn't have a problem, you know, driving over um, someone's parcel, but it's just something to be aware of. So that's it. The way to check for access is to check the county GIS website and you look for road access. And then to get an even better, more practical look, you can also look up using the GPS coordinates and checking it on Google Maps. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Sales at landsforyou.com. I hope you found this video helpful. You can always check us out at landsforyou.com. Take care. Bye.